Yeah, and I get that. And I'm going to stick with my word as well. When we continue doing the work, people cannot afford to be a member of anything that I'm bringing to the table. I will pay for them to make sure they're in. But that, that's not a ticket forever. That's an encouragement for people to start getting up out out their houses, up off their asses, and cracking on. Like anything else, when I've been giving something for free, I don't really appreciate it as much. But um, yeah, I'll play ball as long as it's for the right people, me, for the for the vulnerable people. Let's not forget, there's not they're not all vulnerable people. These people, but for the ones that are that are really sick and need the help, I'm going to continue to do that work for them. Um, but like I say, it's become a lot bigger than I ever anticipated it to be. So all right, <clears throat> nice one, Stu. And I'll um, I'll just add on this: there are people, vulnerable people through this that have relapsed, that have self harmed again, that have come close to committing suicide. So that that goes way beyond mine and your conversations, really. Um, it can't continue the way it's going, you know. And if it did, I'd fucking I'd walk away because it's not good. It's not good for anyone that. So hopefully now. Us talking like this, it's going to resolve a lot of problems and then everyone can just get back to basics and I will keep a check on what the way I'm doing things as well, not my words. Um, but again, it's about the safety of the people, which I think we're all agreeing on. But you really need to put to the back of your head this notion that you have that mental health and addiction is something that you should make money off. It's not... It's not something that you should be making money off. You shouldn't be begging for money off vulnerable people, full stop. Even if them people say, oh, well, I'm not vulnerable. They're there for a reason. Unless they, I've got a full doctor's bill of health. No, they shouldn't be paying money. Number two, you're taking it to the NHS. Shani, the NHS saved my life on more than one occasion. I got stabbed in the chest when I was 23. And I died twice in the operating theatre. Then people saved me and they offered me aftercare counselling as well. That has really got my goat up. I, at times, have trouble biting my tongue when I'm speaking to you, but I'm better than that. So, knock it off of the NHS too. Yeah, and that's, that's your personal opinion, really, isn't it? Yours, you got stabbed, they helped you out. But when I don't argue with the NHS, what I do say is... When people say the NHS can do this, that, or the other for addiction, the truth is they can't straight away. They can't. They can't deal with it. They've not got the manpower. They put you on waiting list because I've been there. So I'll talk from my personal point of view. I've been there when I begged NHS and doctors when I'm about to commit suicide and they didn't have no facilities for me, nothing. They had nothing straight away. And all I needed at that time, what I learned was connection with other human beings. So, yeah, we all have our personal stories and our personal journeys. So, yeah, um, I agree with you on yours, but I'm sure you should agree with me on mine as well. I've got my own story too. That's your experience, Shani, but you can't be going on to people like out there telling them that the NHS is useless, come to the tribe for help and support. When all you do, you know yourself, you just send them the number of Samaritans and that's not on. Someone's going to end up losing their life, Shani, and I want to know how you're going to feel about that there. But obviously talking to people helps, but sometimes there's an absolute need for medical intervention. And you can't have people feeling or even thinking that they can't go to the doctors, that they aren't going to get help. Because if things are serious, Shani, I was meant to get operations and they were put back because of trauma cases and things like that that are coming in the NHS of massive priorities. You're running down charities as well. Charities have massive logistics in place to make sure the money gets to the right place, make sure it helps people. So you can't go on like that there. People are going to attack you for that alone. That's
Jenny, I don't know what you want, but if you're looking for stars and subscriptions, I can tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you stop begging for stars on subscriptions and shares, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will <coughs> you. Don't make me laugh, little man. Don't make me laugh. You're false. You're fake. You're pathetic. You've got nothing in you. So yeah, when you say that to my face, Davenport, little D. Jillian's big D, but you're a little D, aren't you? Then you're saying, come down with me. Um, 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 I'd love a penis enlargement. Yeah, little D. Little James D. I'm looking for you. Keep your eyes open. I don't know what you want. See that when you say that to my If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. <laughs> skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. If you let the stars go now, it'll be the end of it. <laughs> You, mate. Yeah, I've just had a little chat with our little friend, Better, from Cyprus. You. You are going to be in some serious trouble now. You know that, don't you? You know you crossed the line. And I've got it all here. That poor lady, I'm not going to expose her. Told her that. But I've got everything here now. Everything that I need. You are, you are in some serious trouble, you boy. You don't call me boy, I call you boy. Do you understand? The thing is, idiot, if there was anything being done wrongly on our side, we'd have something to worry about, wouldn't we? But we've got fuck all to worry about. You, you need to worry. Your little self, don't you? Mr. Belfast, Mr. I've got your IP address, I've got loads of more stuff coming on you, so don't you worry your little self. You keep sending me pathetic little messages, boy, stupid little boy. Oh, Jamesy Wimsy, you're getting all upset again, you and your temper tantrums here. I'm sick of picking your dummy up, I'm going to have to tie it to your arm so you can stop throwing it out of the pram. Would you like that, James? Would you like me to put a wee bandage around your arm and sew your dummy into it? You keep spitting it out. James, stop spitting your dummy out. You're a bull boy, James.
You know something? I exposed every last lie you told yesterday. Your tribe members are coming to me now, telling me stories. I know all about your wee rank structure and how they work in the tribe now. They're all coming to me, Shemmy. They're all in my inbox. Your days are numbered, you horrible manipulating. And you've obviously got a right load of time on your hands, haven't you? Boy. But yeah, you keep you keep watching out for what's coming next from yourself. You keep watching. You, you're just a fucking coward, aren't you? You dirty shit house. You're a coward. Coward. Hey, I drove to the rock, hard rock cafe to see ya. Where was you before you mates? I still have my flip-flops on. You fucking shit house. You're a joke. You like I told you, you, what? Yeah, like I say, you are going to be outed. You're going to be my fucking, you're going to become my life's work now, you. Watch. Show is going to do what he's doing. Yeah, you'll see what, you'll see exactly what's going on next. But you, you, you're, you're becoming my life's work now. You, I've had a picture taken of my daughter at 10. You dirty fucking scumbag. Use that. Yeah, you behave like they do in the paedophile rings, the way you move about and stuff. You dirty fucking non slucker like bastards. That's what you are. You dirty nonsense for all we know. We don't know what you're up to at the minute. We do know that you do take pictures of kids, though. And I'm going to out the fucking lot of you. But you first. You're the one that I'm going to keep out in and watch. Just actually after listening to the rest of that message, are you called us fucking nonsense? Wise yourself up, Jim Shinny fucking dick and port. Thank you. <laughs> you have pictures of your 10-year-old daughter up on your fucking page. Up on your page of her at a fucking swimming pool on a page that deals with drug addicts, alcoholics, and fucking sex addicts, you dirty, twisted fuck. You're the sick bastard Davenport. You're a sick little man. Sick and twisted. You're all upset now because your world's crumbling. Well, you fucking called me a nonce. Just watch what I have in store for you next, cunt. What's the matter, big time? Have I hit a nerve? You sound like you're getting all angry there. What's up with you? Hey? Because the way you all act and look... You look like a nonce. You act like a nonce. You take pictures of children like a nonce. You send an older woman to prey on a 10-year-old child like a nonce. All this you're going to be outed for. Beast. 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 That's what you are. You all act the same as a paedophile ring. That's what you do. That makes me question all of yous. You are the paedophile hunters. Nah, I don't believe so. I believe what you're doing, you're masking what you're all doing yourselves. You're disgusting. You're dirty little nonce. you little nonce. That's what you are. You're an honourable man. Yep, an honourable beast. That's what I see. My ten-year-old, my ten-year-old daughter. You had some woman preying on her. Yep, you, you, you. You're gonna be in trouble. Yep, the old dear, I told her, I'd do her a favour and not expose her. She's going to be exposed. The hotel, let her know this. The police come to the hotel and watched her on camera. Got all the screenshots of her and everything. I'd already told them it was 20 past one on the Friday. I'd worked out myself. Because don't forget, fuck face. Listen to me, I've got skills as well. Don't forget where I'm from. I'm not from Facebook originally, am I? Let's not forget that, little man. You would never meet me, little man, because you're a fucking scared coward that preys on little children, little ten-year-old children. You're very sick. Come on, little dude. You really think I'd get angry over someone like you? You're a wasteless piece of shit. I dealt with boys like you all my life, shinny. And I know what you are. You're a scumbag. You're a waster. You're one of them wee fuckers that lives in a fantasy land. You dream up things in your head. You live over... You, you do scenarios in your head. You act out in your head what you say you're doing. And therefore, that constitutes for you that you actually did it. 
but I'm sorry, Shin Bob, that's not how it works. You have to actually do the things you say you're doing to make them viable. You're a liar, you're a cheat, you're a twisted sick man, and you will get what's coming to you, James Shinny Little D Avonport. You're a faceless coward, and you're going to get what's coming to you. Mark my words, you, the big tough Irish man, eh? Hey, the big tough Irish man that won't show his face. You fucking coward. You're a big joke. You're a joke, and I'm going to get all the pictures I can from you. Yep, and I'm going to show the world what kind of a joke you are. Then, then I'm going to add the voice recordings you've sent to me, all of them. Yeah? Your Liam Neesons and your bullshits like that. You're pathetic. You're a joke. I'm going to get all that done and put it on a platform that can't be taken down. And it's going to go around your hometown as well. Mr. Belfast. Mr. Big Man. Work away, James. A little day. You're all right. Come on. It's okay. I'm here. I'm here. No, no, no. It's all right. GMs. You have an awful, awful, awful nasty streak. You can hear it in your voice. It's just like, eh, I'm going to do this and I ain't going to do that. But I'll tell you what, you're going to do nothing. Do you know why? For sure, nothing but a pubeless wonder. All you do is go about throwing your mouth about. But when it comes to backing up your words, you don't know how to do it. You're a waste of that precious commodity called oxygen. Twenty odd thousand views and climbing, nearly a thousand shares. Nearly fifty thousand people reached. Wow! All them people gonna see who you are and what you're about, little boy. I'm gonna be your worst nightmare now, Mister Neville. Your worst nightmare. A lot of people are contacting us now from Ireland, confused and concerned for their children and their families because of people like you. Little D. Hey, what about my set of skills? Hey, what about my set of skills, Mr. Neville? You're in big trouble. You couldn't do nothing. Look at the state of you. Look at the fucking state of you. The way you live. You're going to sue me and Maxine for all we've got. Little people like you, little ants, don't come near people like us. You can try. You can try and muscle in, but we all seen you for what you are. You're not in the profile picture anymore, old man. You're nothing but an old man. There's nothing you can do about it. And believe me, when one, one door closes, another one opens. Little Neville. Little Neville getting all tempered yesterday. And we've got it all on footage. And you're going to be all over this documentary. And I'll be honest with you, three people from Belfast. Belfast have been asking about you. What are your motives with young little girls? Mr Neville. You pervert. We've got it all. I've even got the conversation recorded with our Betty Boo. Yeah, we've got it all recorded that you asked her to take pictures of her, of, of, of my mother and 10 year old daughter. For whatever reason, we don't know yet, but we're going to find out. Because your devices, your devices are coming. Because it doesn't matter about your friend, Mr. Richard, but you. You have had somebody in Cyprus take a picture of a 10 year old girl to send to you. You little nonce. That's what you are. You don't just look like a nonce. You behave like one. So what does that make you? Beast. Nasty man you are. You're disgusting. You and your 20, you and your 20 friends all six each other. You are getting outed first on the documentary we've already got. Mr. Neville and wait there because I'm a man of power and connection there's a big thing going on at the minute why don't you check it out on YouTube with the Metropolitan Police yeah 
why don't you check it out what they're doing with people like you that's one thing but that's not enough for me I want to out you proper good and proper so your neighbours and your family and friends see what kind of a sick individual you are and I'm going to keep stating I'll always state about my 10 year old daughter that, that this big man from Belfast wanted pictures of you working out people family, friends, associates are all going to see you with your angry face on my live yesterday they're all going to see it Mr Neville, boy I'd love to know your solicitor was there listening to all this about 10 year old children and all the hate crime and harassment you're involved in you haven't got a solicitor you're pathetic a solicitor wouldn't come near you you don't have to look at you and think no chance not these kinds of people i wouldn't like to be tied with these kinds of people these trolls these horrible people but you there's a matter i'd love put all this out don't re don't forget mr i want pictures of 10 year old little girls yes and people's mothers don't forget that. Make sure you put that in, won't you? Because if you don't, that doesn't matter. Because I'm going to with this documentary. And you're first, Mr. Belfast. You are first. You've messed with the wrong people doing that. Bringing harm and hate and darkness to our family. You are in serious trouble, my friend. And here's a message to your solicitor. I hope you're good. I hope you're fucking good, Mr. Solicitor, whoever you are. If you're going to stand for somebody like this, we've got files on his friends and files on him now. We're going to show this to you. No solicitor on the land, in this land, will go near it. Not even your island will not go near what we have got on these people. Yes, these people eventually will get their comeuppance. Mark my words. You're all in the same ring. Yes. The people that you say are paedophiles and this, that and the other. And they have paedophile rings. Yous. Yous lot. You, Wayne, Richard, Lee Green, the rest of you all. You behave like these animals. Which makes us all question. That is what the documentary is going to question. The likes of you. But you first and foremost. I'm not bothered about anyone else. I hope everybody's hearing this. You taking pictures of my 10 year old daughter, you're first, you're first, you're definitely first Mr. Slow Talking, Mr. Belfast, like you're something big, I expose you for what you really are, you're a sad, dirty, dirty, revolting, smeller old man, go and change your profile picture, go and be yourself, you smelly old dirty man. Jenny, I don't know what you want, but if you're... So I'm just going to record this by Stuart Neville. Jenny, I don't know what you want, but if you're looking for stars and subscriptions, I can tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you stop begging for stars on subscriptions and shares, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. You know. He meant to say kill. Yeah. You just keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for more of this. You're a sad old man. Dirty, dirty old man. Yep, and I'm going to be saying these things about you throughout. Yep, you're a dirty, perverted old man from Belfast. A lot of people asking where you're from, big man. Hey, and that's what they're going to do. And that's what I'm, that's how I'm going to make this is my new job, you fucking fool. This is what I'm doing. One door closes and another one opens. And guess what I'll be doing? 
Uh, you talk about paedophile hunters, yeah? What about troll hunters? Because you openly admit what you are. You dirty, sleazy, horrible bastards. Look, look at the way you live, hey? You don't promote recovery. You promote horribleness. So let's not forget this. I'm saying I'm keeping you on, you little bitch. You're now my little bitch. Where you treat women and children along with your mob, yep, you'd never do it to fucking anyone, a real man, face to face. That's why you hide in your fucking, in your, your council estate house all on your own in your back garden. You live on your own, you're a sad man and I'm going to bring you down for what you've done. Every man and his dog in your local area is going to know all what you do toward women, children and vulnerable men. Let's not forget this, hey, Mr. Neville, Mr. Neville, you've certainly pissed up the wrong tree this time, haven't you? Hey, you beast, you fucking pervert, you dirty, perverted bastard, 10-year-old little girls, pervert. Watch what I do with you. You'll see, all in planning now, you'll see. Oh, by the way, James, besides all the laws that you've just broke there and given me evidence to prove it, <coughs> a little birdie told me that you were out smashed at Christmas. Off your fucking trolley, mate. Oh, shin bad, shin bad. You're a naughty boy preaching recovery when you're full as a fucker at Christmas. Should be ashamed of yourself. Spend the tribe's money on alcohol. Why why do you try and talk now? Like you you something different than what we've already seen. You're a fool. You're a fucking dirty pervert. An absolute fool. And it doesn't matter what I'm gonna do now with you is fire things up that our police couldn't take care of. Yep. The police can't deal with it, and that's the truth, we know that. But the Metropolitan Police can. But we've got that much evidence on you. There's nothing you're ever going to do about what I'm going to do now. I could start putting your address up on my platform now if I wanted. I could do what you did, what you did to me, putting my girlfriend's address up and my family's, my, my apartment up, yeah? I can do all that. Let's not forget that, fool. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to do it proper, like I say. I'm going to do it proper on you. You little pervert. Come on, Stuart. Why are you not answering the phone for? Mr. Neville. Why are you not answering the phone? You pervert, you beast. Don't forget, taking pictures of 10 year old girls. Why are you not picking up the phone? I've got some news for you. Podcast coming your way. Big podcast that I'm going to agree to do. I didn't agree to do any podcast for the book or all I do in recovery, but you know what? I'm going to get hold of all the podcasts now and I'm going to try and get as many podcasts done as I can with people from Belfast. Like I told you, I've got too many contacts now. I'm going to ring them all. Yep, you are definitely in a right load of lumber for all you've done. Yes, you little pervert, you little beast. Taking pictures of 10-year-old girls. I'm not going to stop with you now. Do you understand me? You horrible little pervert. I've got a story for your podcast. 44 year old man sending old women in Cyprus round to family hotels to set pictures of 10 year old girls. What would you call this person? In fact, he lives in Belfast. He goes under the name of Stuart Neville. Hey, told you, you're fucking first for all this, you pervert, you little beast. I am not going to stop on you. What are you going to do now? Uh, you're going to put this recording out to your 200 friends that are all sick as well. You keep a lookout and it starts from next week. I do my first podcast on the 7th. Your name is going to be plastered all over it. All over. You little beast, you pervert. Picture of 10 year old little girls. Yeah, and all the hate against pregnant women and everything else you've done, you little beast. What's going on? Dirtbag. What's 
going on, you pervert? Wonder how many pictures you've got of little girls in your fucking devices, your little sex case. We're getting all kinds of fucking information on you now. All kinds. So don't forget, next week, I'll be doing the first podcast. And your name is coming out first and it's going to go on so many platforms. It's not even going to be nowhere near Facebook. There's not going to be a way you can pull it down. See your friends, family, anybody that knows you locally is going to know that you're a dirty predator. Yep. And you get pictures taken of 10-year-old girls by women in Cyprus. Just for starters, you dirty beast. Your little sex case, Mr. Big Belfast Man, you fool. Yasmin Rogers, Wayne Richer, Lee Green, Stuart Bloody Neville. Um, I'm going to go at you full force. You know this, don't you, Stuart? You know this, and there's nothing the police can do. Nothing they can do. Nothing your solicitor can do. Do you know why? Because ours couldn't. That's why I have tried it that way, just to test the waters, and the system's pathetic. So I'm going at you in a way that's going to expose you massively. And you've seen I had the, the biggest recovery platform in the world. Watch what comes next. Yeah. Shamed. You're going to be shamed in your local town, in Belfast. You poor man. Fancy having pictures taken of a 10-year-old little girl, my daughter. Hey, you and the others, you're in for the right shock. Come on, Stuart, you're not replying. Mr. Neville, the one that sends older women in Cyprus to an hotel to sit behind my mother and 10 year old little girl for one hour, then take pictures of my 10 year old little girl. Yeah, but I owe you sending this to your solicitor and the police. I can't wait to hear from them when I say no comment. No comment, no comment. Have you exposed this man where he is from and what he does around children and pregnant women? Yes, I have. No comment to the rest of it. Here's the files on all of them. Mr. Neville, Mr. Richer, Mr. Green, Mrs. Rogers, Mrs. Yasmin. Yeah, we've got it all coming. Every effort I put into that recovery channel, I'm going to put into you, you dirty, sick, horrible, taking pictures of little girls, bastards. And all the pictures of the children you put up as well. I've got all that too. Come on, shooey wooey. Where are you? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where's your friend taking pictures of 10 year old little girls and sending them back to your inbox? Shooey, come on, shoe. where are you? Where have you gone? You've gone quiet, you fell off the face of the earth. But that ain't gonna matter now. It's not going to matter because I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. All your friends, your family, work colleagues, if you do work, everyone is going to know about you. The, the messages I'm getting in now from Belfast, people wanting to do podcasts, documentaries, because I've stood up to what you do. What you all are, you're all in a ring like a bunch of paedophiles working exactly the same. You are paedophiles. You're not paedophile hunters, you are paedophiles, what you do, taking pictures of children. I'm sorry, Shani, I have better things to do in my life than sit around waiting for you to send me a message, but anyway, Big Shen, what about your cocaine music video? I heard that you had a little get-together with the transvestites there, Big Shen. Yeah, mmm. And I heard your I heard your ex walked in yeah, with another man. You were getting pegged, mate. Fucking pegged right up the jacks. I know all about it. I heard you were drunk at Christmas too, big shin. You went out with Maxine on her ex. Well, he wasn't her ex at the time, but you went out with them. And what was it, Shinny? You slept with another man's woman a week after she slept with him. A oh, big shin. The man's not going to DNA test. Don't leave the country. Is this the best that you've got? Is this it? Is that all you've got? From what everybody's seen on that last show, we all seen what kind of puke you was with your dirty teeth and your smelly fucking clothes you've got on. 
You're just a dirty man that preys on vulnerable children. Let's not forget, it doesn't matter what you say and do now. Even with that doesn't matter. I'm going to be relentless, yeah? Mr. Amar. Hey? <clears throat> Listen, I can't tell you how many people from Belfast have been saying, we're not all bad from our area, but where's this man from? So many people, it will all be outed. I don't understand where your fucking little, little pansy friend Wayne believes I'm not going to be doing podcast and out in all use name and area and workplace. I don't know where he's... Don't know where he's seeing that part, but yeah. Anyway, big man, wait there, big man. Yeah, big man. Let's not forget, we've all seen you for what you are, you and Wayne. You disgusting little perverts, hey, little pervert beasts. Can't get women. You can't get your own women. So what do you do? You prey on vulnerable women and children. Little ten-year-old girls. Listen, you dirty Irish bastard. You had a picture taken of my daughter, yeah? And I am not going to rest. You are first. You're first. The rest, they can wait. But you're first. And I'm going to watch you crumble and fall apart. You'll break down before me. i seen your face on that last show. You ready for the breakdown now? Stay tuned, won't you? In fact, now, I'm going to scrub the rest of the information I've got on all the others that I have got. I'm just going to continue working on you. Yep. I'm going to continue working on you. Oh, James, what's wrong, Dylan? James, do you want to know something? At least thou weren't my girlfriend's exes clothes, yeah, fucking gypsy <laughs> you fucking moron you're an idiot you are a great uh, idiot everyone's laughing at you you're the biggest meme on the internet all you do is talk about kids all you do is talk about kids and pedophile hunters you're a fucking idiot great uh, idiot shin bag Go and fuck yourself, moron. Everyone's laughing at you. You're a meme. M-E-M-E. -M -E. Oh, James, what's wrong, Dylan? Oh. <laughs> You've got all that information all wrong. I reckon I know where it's coming from as well. <laughs> Look at my life to yours. No wonder you're so upset. I mean, I've been upset in my life and resentful and hateful towards others. I've never, I've never attacked vulnerable men and women and asked people to take pictures of children because that's what I'm going to concentrate on. You and having a picture taken of my 10-year-old daughter and that's all that matters to me right now. And that's all it's going to take. Mr. Belfast, man. Talking a good one. Look at the fucking state of you. Hey? Look at the state of you. You're a mess. You're a washed out mess. You're a nothingness. And I'm going to ruin you. You pervert. <laughs>